simultaneous space is acoustic because what you hear, you hear from all directions at once, which creates a sphere whose center is everywhere and whose margin is nowhere. The peculiar character of acoustic space is simultaneously coming from all directions, creating this strange space which is spherical and musical, all directions at once, equals right hemisphere versus left hemisphere of the brain. Needless to say, the left hemisphere is entirely written tradition, and the right hemisphere is mainly acoustic. The right hemisphere is the only one that has the simultaneous power of pattern recognition. The left hemisphere, being lineal, logical, connected, has no ability to, for example, recognize a human face. A person using only the left hemisphere cannot see a face because the face has so many components that have to be simultaneously apprehended. The IBM, whole IBM saying, information overload equals pattern recognition. At the speed of light, at electric speed, pattern recognition tends to be exclusive. Western philosophy is almost 100% left hemisphere, entirely concerned with logic, connection, and classification. But anyway, the hidden ground that Aristotle and Plato were totally unaware of was literacy. Phonetic literacy, by the way. There is no other kind of literacy that has the effect that we relate to literacy. There are many kinds of writing which are not phonetic and which have none of the effects of phonetic literacy. Phonetic literacy has the amazing power to separate the visual faculty from our other senses. It's the only alphabet that has that power to separate the visual from the, all the other senses of which there are several. Some psychologists say there are about 35 senses. But the visual faculty is pulled out into high definition by phonetic literacy. Phonetic literacy has this capacity of, of, of being meaningless. The phonemes in the alphabet are meaningless. They have no semantic meaning. A, B, C, D are not phonemes, those are morphemes. When you say A, B, C, D, abacuda is phonemic. A, B, C, D is morphemic. Has meaning. A, B, C, the A, B, C, he knows his A, B, C is a meaningful statement. But the abacuda is not. When the separation of meaning from the visual came into play, it split Western man wide open for the first time in human history. The visual part of man came alive in isolation from the rest of man. But it was really phonetically in which you were able to put into these meaningless forms the oral tradition. Homer could then be put down visually after centuries of being sung. The moment the poets became visual, Plato began to yell to get rid of the poets. He was a absolutely anti the poetic establishment because it was acoustic, irrational, non-logical. But the pre-Socratics now today are back. Heraclitus and the oral tradition is now back thanks to electricity.